in, in your role, have you begun to think about what might be the, the reasons for that? Yes, we think about that a lot, and uh, clearly there are um, things that we do as we go along to keep learning from what's going on, and we're in regular contact with many international partners. I think, as uh, Chris Whitty has said before, it's very difficult to know exactly where we stand at the moment. Um, it's clear that uh, the outcome has not been good in the UK. I think we can be absolutely clear about that. Um, it's also clear that you can see a band of um, countries that have done less well in the temperate zone, uh, countries that are very well connected internationally, uh, countries that have um, got population structures which are of a certain type. So there are many factors, I think, that are going to play in as we, as we look and say, well, what is it that makes some countries uh, having done worse than others? And there will be things, decisions made that, that will turn out not to have been the right decisions at the time, I'm sure, about that as well. I mean, this is going to be a, a, a number of factors that need to be taken into account. Um, the other thing I would say is one lesson which I think is a very important one to learn from this uh, pandemic for emergencies in general is that data flows and data systems are incredibly important. You need the information in order to be able to make the decisions and therefore for any emergency situation those data systems need to be in place up front in order to be able to give the information to make the analysis and make the decisions.